Hello everyone, this is Ashwin here. So it's been a long time I have posted uh, some videos. So I'm going to start it again and uh, I'm going to touch on uh, dynamic programming which is the last part of the playlist. Today we are going to solve the coin change problem. Given an amount and the denominations of coins available, determine how many ways change can be made for amount. There is a limitless supply of each coin type. So this is uh, one condition we have to uh, keep it in mind uh, while creating the logic. So let's see an example here. So here we have to get the change for three. So this is the list of coins, uh, which is a length of four. So you can get the coins in like, we can have it as like three and uh, we can have one, one, one as like another uh, combination and we can have one plus two. So the total number of ways to get the change for three is three. So like this, uh, we have to uh, produce the output. But if you try to uh, solve it in like uh, using a brute force approach, it will definitely exceed the time limit. Uh, let's also check the constraints. Uh, here you can see the coin range is in the range of like uh, 1 to 50 and uh, N is in the range of like uh, 250 and M is in the range of uh, 50. So if you try to get like all combinations uh, from this list means it will definitely uh, go out of the time limit. So we have to use dynamic programming to solve the sub problems and keep it in some memory. So here also they have mentioned uh, think of a way to store and reference previously computed solutions to avoid solving the same sub problem multiple times. So this is the main uh, core part of the logic we have to follow. This approach will help in many dynamic programming problems. Even in some complex problem, you could solve using uh, this DP approach. So here also they have mentioned some example, like uh, we can uh, define some base case and uh, keep on incrementing for uh, other cases. So usually the uh, dynamic programming will be combined with like a recursion uh, or iteration uh, by storing it some arrays or multidimensional array. So here also we are going to store uh, the previous computed values in an array. I will show you with an example uh, after uh, doing the coding. Uh, so this is another input. So the change we have to get is four and uh, the number of coins is three. So we have one, two, three. And here they have mentioned uh, all the possible ways that we can get the change. And this is another input. And these are the uh, coins. And here we have like five ways to uh, produce the uh, change. Now let's dive into the logic. Uh, in this, uh, I'm going to solve it using uh, iterative approach. So iterative approach. If you guys uh, solve it using recursion approach means please leave a comment below. So it will be helpful for others. Uh, as I said, uh, we are going to store the solution in some memory. So I'm going to call it as uh, DP multiplies n plus one. Uh, why we are using n plus one. So if you want to uh, solve for a change of uh, one and let's say if you want to get the result for uh, one means that result will be stored in this array in that particular index. So if we take 10 means if you want to access 10th index, it will be out of it if you just uh, have only n. So that's why I'm just uh, having n plus one. So if you consider here n is 10, so this will be like 11. So we could access 10th index. I guess that uh, you guys can understand why I am using this. So most of the problems will be using uh, like this only. And uh, again, the base case. So base case will be DP of zero is one. So using this only, we are going to iteratively uh, solve the sub problem. And this will be the main logic. So for I in range of len of C, I'm just iterating through the uh, coins for J in range of C of I to N plus one. So this is the length of the DP and I'm just uh, starting the uh, loop based on the coin value. So here, uh, if the coin value is two means it will go up from two to 10. So I am gonna 
update the logic so dp of j plus equals dp of j minus c of i and I will also print c of i and uh, dp of i sorry just dp just to show uh, how it is changing and we can uh, and we can easily see uh, how the problem is solving itself like uh, by using uh, the previous uh, computation so finally I'll just return dp of n which will have the final solution okay so this logic I'm just uh, subtracting from the index with the coin value so it will be just updating uh, to the dp of j so let's run the code once okay now you guys can see the debug output so this is the coin value and this is the array initially the array will look like this initial array dp equals uh, what is the one two three so we'll be having like uh, four index one zero 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 and zero okay so this is the dp initialization now we will see the debug output so first we are solving the sub problem so first we are just taking only one so if the change we have to give us only one means we are just updating the values based on it so as I already said okay for the first we have only uh, one coin that is one and the change we have to get is four so initially this will be one and everything else will be zero and uh, based on this expression okay based on this expression so j minus c of i so that will be 1 minus 1 and it will be updated and uh, again it will go to 2 minus 1 and again this will be updated and it will be just keep on appending so to get the change 4 using only one coin that is 1 the number of ways is 1 so this is the sub problem let's go into the next iteration so we have the coins 1 and 2 and we have to get this uh, uh, change that is uh, 4 okay now again so using the same logic we, we will be just uh, adding so it will be starting from 2 based on the coin index and uh, if you consider the previous one so 1 plus 1 it will be 2 and again 1 plus uh, 1 again this will be 2 and uh, 1 plus 2 is 3 so finally we are getting the result for the another sub problem that is for the change 4 with only 2 coins 1 and 2 the number of ways we can arrange is 3 I guess uh, you know the possible uh, arrangements right so so this will be like uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 ones and for this uh, we have uh, 1 plus 1 plus 2 that is again 4 2 plus 2 is again 4 so the total uh, number of ways we can get this 4 is 3 and again we are considering 3 coins here now using the previous array we will be updating the logic starting from uh, third index so 2 plus 1 is 3 and uh, 3 plus 1 is 4 so the total number of ways is 4 like that we will be just uh, keep on solving the sub problem until we reach the final solution so finally we are just returning dp of n which is this 4 i hope you guys uh, understood the uh, logic how we are uh, solving it iteratively solving one sub problem after another you guys can trace this logic with uh, another examples as well just to get more uh, understanding of this so i'll just comment this print statement and submit the code so we have solved this problem successfully if you have any other uh, queries regarding this uh, video or the logic please leave a comment below apart from that if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel for uh, future videos stay tuned for the next video